When it comes to repairing potholes, our responsibility is to make the roads as safe as possible, as soon as possible, with our limited time and resources. Potholes come in any shape and size, and also include surface deviations, base failures, and alligator cracking. Safety call this morning. As with any planned work activity, crews must begin their day with a safety meeting. Discuss the day's activities and any safety concerns, including proper PPE, safety precautions for your equipment, and traffic control. Pothole repair is always the job of at least two operators, while using the proper work zone setup and traffic controls outlined in the Virginia Work Area Protection Manual. Keep in mind that VDOT strictly forbids ghost patching. Dashing into an uncontrolled road with a shovel full of asphalt has put at least two names on the VDOT Workers Memorial. When a pothole is likely to cause a crash or damage a vehicle, it's your responsibility to immediately make a temporary repair to last until permanent repairs can be made. Emergency and immediate temporary repairs are usually made with cold mix asphalt. We use different formulations of cold mix for different conditions and applications. And the way you use these products can differ greatly. For example, one formulation must be soaked with water to harden. Make sure you understand how to properly use any cold mix formulation before you head out to make the repairs. First, secure the scene in accordance with the Virginia Work Area Protection Manual using, at a minimum, advanced warning signs and a traffic control spotter. Additional traffic control devices, flaggers, and or shadow vehicle may be necessary based on roadway volumes and traffic conditions. Visibility and escape route must be considered when positioning work vehicle and crew members. Make sure all loose debris and water are completely removed. You can use a shovel and or a broom, but often a gas-powered blower is all you need. Blow or sweep the debris out of the roadway. Place enough cold mix into the hole so that when tamped down, it's level with the surface of the road. For deep holes, use multiple tamped lifts. Sweep or blow away any loose material. Then do a final tamp with your vehicle tires. Before starting any planned pothole patching operation, of course, secure the scene with a proper stationary work zone. Whenever possible, square up potholes using an asphalt saw or a jackhammer. This makes the longest lasting repair. The squared sides allow for better adhesion and compaction. Also, the asphalt in a squared patch is stronger because it's more uniform in thickness. After squaring, make sure that all loose debris and water are completely cleared from the hole. Critical to the longevity of the patch is the tack coat. Carefully apply a uniformly thick coat of tack on all inside surfaces of the hole. Place hot mix asphalt in the hole and rake to fill any voids. Then compact firmly with a hand or mechanized tamper or roller. Be sure to hand tamp the corners where the mechanized tampers can't reach. If necessary, create multiple lifts by repeating these steps until the compacted hot mix is even with the road surface. Sweep or blow away any loose material. And if necessary, spread sand on the patch to keep the asphalt from being picked up by the tires of passing vehicles or by pedestrians. Finally, take note of your repairs so you can accurately tell your supervisor what was accomplished and what resources were used. When you get back to the area headquarters, clean up your tools and equipment with asphalt release agent. Then have a debriefing meeting so that everyone has an opportunity to talk about lessons learned, safety issues or ideas, and possible ways to improve your operation. Thank you.